Hello dinosaur enthusiasts, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. In the last episode, we completed the Isla Sorna area, and we've gone back to Isla Nublar. And while we're here, we've gone ahead and created this Parasaurolophus here, who's now been put into the uh, enclosure. But his being put in here has made some of the other dinosaurs not too happy. So I'm going to see about possibly moving some of them. Confirmed. Request acknowledged. Because I've got some Triceratops somewhere else in here. Yeah, I could move them up to here and they could be okay up there. So we'll just put in another herbivore feeder up in this area. And they'll be okay up there. Transport him up here with his buddy. To collect the asset. And him up here to be with his buddy. Acknowledging asset collection request. Right. He's missing forest. Really, I think it's a matter of just some of these dinosaurs need to move around a little bit. More than they are. Asset Go ahead and get out of there before you're destroyed. <laughs> Keep hitting the wrong buttons here, I apologize for that. And we'll transport you over here as well. Collecting asset. There we go. We have this Triceratops ready for delivery as well. We'll go ahead and put Headed him over the there. Asset. Hopefully they'll be all good there. If I have to, I'll divide that area into pens and such, but I think with the size of it, if they just move around, they should be okay. Uh, let's see here. So we got a bunch of new DNA possible. Want to get all that going here. That'll take care of the Dilophosaurus DNA, I believe, so we should be good. Asset has been delivered. Right, they're good over there. This Triceratops. Feeling a bit crowded over there, but he should be okay after a bit. They're good over on that side. I think I'll put the Triceratops that's still left over here. Because it looks like it's just one. Uh, it's two of them. Alright. Maybe I'll leave them there. I think I might put another feeder down in this area. And another feeder over in this area. And also put in a bit of water over here. So that way there's multiple locations where the dinosaurs can go if they're feeling crowded. Let's see if the Dilophosaurus DNA is at full. It is. So let's modify the genome for it. Let's make it more resilient. And thus improve its lifespan. We're not going to make it more dangerous, of course, because I don't need my dinosaurs to be dangerous here. You know what? Let's try it. Worst case scenario, it fails. And then I'll just make another one. 
How are the Dilophosaurus doing over here anyways? They're good. So they could use one more and be fine. Basically right now it's about farming the DNA, getting all the animals set up in this area. You know what, I'm going to put another feeder over in this area as well. So they got plenty of places to go if they want to. I have a storm warning coming in, but I think I've got storm coverage here. Yeah, it looks like I do. That one covers my raptor pen, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it does. Alright, so everything's good there. Then we've also got the Ceratosaurus, Spinosaurus, both available. What else do we have? Ankylosaurus, Corinthosaurus, Mouse, Majora, not sure what that is. Pachycephalosauri, we're gonna have a T Rex anywhere here? Atosaurus. So we're gonna have a bunch of different DNA online here so that'll be a good thing but oh, we have a disease contracted definitely need to take care of that uh, let's go ahead and add that task attending to feeder supply no not feeder supply setting additional task yeah, let's just go ahead and deal with the uh, sick dinosaur Actually, let's go ahead and send you guys off again. Uh, let's go with Spinosaur. Right now. Not sure what all we're going to have over here, so... want to make sure they're actually being productive and not just getting DNA that I'm going to sell off. Alright. Request the delivery of this dinosaur over into the Dilophosaurus paddock. Which is clearly marked there, so Heading it makes it easy. Alright. Jurassic Park will need a tour, of course. No, not this. Uh, trust me? Those cars are no match for a T-Rex. We will make sure it's done right. You can't always live in the past. This whole island is one big monument to the past. When I studied to be a paleontologist, the chance of me ever seeing a living dinosaur was nil. The chance that I'd have to run for my life from one, even less than that. And now we are putting the public within biting range of them. You're right, Alan. Hammond's gonna do this whether we approve or not. So we have to make sure every measure is being taken. We need the dinosaurs safe, and the people even safer. Mr. Cabot, I assume you'll want to test the tour personally. That's not really part of my job description. We should make sure that the tour ride allows guests to see all the dinosaurs. They should experience the wonder of this place. And not the terror that we have. <laughs> that goes without saying. I'm saying it anyway. All right. Okay, so I can't have it going through the carnivore pen, so that would be a bad idea, it looks like. So. Uh, 
That's good to know. Alright, so we got that piece connected there. That piece is connected there. Let's go ahead and connect the pathway. actually want to redo these pathways overall. I want to put in the nice pathways. There we go. Let's go ahead and put in this path. Since this is going to be my Jurassic Park now, I want it to be done nicely. Oh well. We'll go ahead and put in our pathways to connect everything up, and then we'll worry about that other stuff. There's that connected. That's connected. There we are with that. Alright, so it looks like everything is pretty much connected up again, but we'll want to connect this over as well. There we go. Alright, so all of that is taken care of. We need some power over in this area. There we go. Track is incomplete, of course, for it. We will edit the tour route.
actually delete that. Actually, alright. I was wrong on all of this here. Get rid of the two arcade. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Did not mean to get rid of the fence though, as I do want fencing here. There we go. Alright. Let's see. Let's edit the tour route and start over here on the front side. So they're going to enter over here. Oh. Before I worry about that, let's get the expedition teams out doing what they need to be doing. Getting some more DNA for me. Also... This right now. I researched the item over here and I need to research the viewing attractions. Alright, so that's good there. Now let's go back here and edit the route. So it comes along here. Don't know why I clicked on that, but all right. That was my mistake. Let's go ahead and continue our route here. Then we'll go right by the raptor enclosure. Don't really need the track curve like that. Right, there's evidently a plant here that is in my way. There we go. There. We have the park tour. Edit the tour. No, I can edit the tour route. Don't really want to do that. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, it should be doing what it's supposed to be doing, I guess. Let's see if there's any more research. There's not. But there are plenty of fossils to get through here, so let's go through those. Sell all this other stuff off. Get 
those two on the go. Alright, so those two should be able to be seen from this tour. You know, I could edit the tour route just a bit. Let's go ahead and delete that area, that area, and that area. And let's bring this tour between the water and the uh, feeder. That should take care of it. Alright, so the first two our vehicles seem to be going out. Yep. Alright, perfect. We will ride that tour, of course, when we finish the park overall. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my carnivore pens over here. So we'll have a T-Rex pen, a Spinosaur pen, so on and so forth. They should be able to spot the Triceratops and the Paraceralophus over there. So that'll be good. I'm going to just go ahead and carve up this area to be the Spinosaur pen, I think. Like that idea. Alright. Basically, I'm going to need fencing all along this to keep the visitors safe. Then I really don't need this fencing over here. This will all be in the human area of the park. I've put the tour route to connect this back up. That's all right. And let's bulldoze that. ended up doing is extending that part of the park. Okay, we lost power there because I cut something that I should not have. What did I cut power to? Nothing. Alright. Just a minor little glitch there. Let's go ahead and get rid of this gate as well. And then we're going to have to re repeat this track again. Not a problem. Actually, let's go ahead and edit this track. I made that a little bit too long. they have as much viewing area over here as is possible. That fence is connected. And then we're gonna put this fence going over here. Alright. 
then we can put a gate. Over there. And let's see what signs we have. Ground light, restroom. Rival helipad sign. Alright, well that's a nice sign to have. We'll put that in. I like that this feels a lot more like the uh, planet coaster in that way. Visitor center sign. Today, we don't invite have an the rest of the world to experience the wonder of Jurassic Park. Hey kids, look, dinosaurs, and this time it's mostly safe, probably, and if you survive, you can buy a t-shirt. There's a compliment in there somewhere. We're not out of the jungle just yet. Let's see how the park gets along, John. And at the first sign of trouble... I know, I know. Remember, I've encouraged your skepticism. And seeing people eaten by prehistoric creatures pretty much solidified it. And now you know why I keep young Cabot around. Speaking of which, have any of you esteemed doctors laid eyes on my intern recently? Hmm. You'd think this is something he wouldn't want to miss. Yes. Yes, you would. So who is going to take care of his tasks then? All right, so we're going to have the sign over here for the Spinosaur enclosure. Okay, so we have to open the park to the public. I am not ready to do that just yet, though, because I do want to not have guests eaten and such, so... I'm going to edit this part a decent amount before we deal with that. If I remember correctly, Spinosaurus do like their fish. Let's get the Spinosaur to full 100% there. We'll put him in, and then we'll go ahead and deal with things after that. I am sort of sad with the part two where I can't do more as far as editing and stuff, and I don't know why the vehicles are I guess it's two together, just like it was in the movie, which is alright, I guess. So, it works. Anything I can research while I'm waiting here? It does not look like it. I am planning on putting my hotel and everything over there, so we'll take care of that when we can. Still no other things there. Be able to open it from the uh, rival pad's info panel. Oh, there we are. Yeah, well, as I said, don't want to do that just yet. Want to make sure that I've taken precautions here to get my dinosaurs as well off as I can. Let's go for health here.
I mean, I think it's funny. I can't have a T-Rex yet, but I can have a Spinosaur, which arguably equally dangerous, if not more so. So, sort of interesting. A little bit different. Uh, let's see, what can I do with this land here? Basically, I want this to create a nice visibility for yes, so that they can definitely see the Spinosaurus. Hopefully that'll work. All right, let's go there, and uh, one that we're going to get several out of. Yeah, there. Let's get the Spinosaur DNA up to where we need it. Good. So we are at full then. I do sort of like the fact that the dinosaurs are just flown in where I need them to be, so I don't have to worry about dinosaurs getting out of hand. It is a little bit awkward how they see, but I guess that's just the way it is, and we'll have to put up with it. Spinosaur DNA is almost ready. Let's go ahead and remotely, whoop, that was not what I wanted. I was wanting the Spinosaur. Alright, so we'll go ahead and make that Spinosaur and we'll put it into its location in the next episode. However, for, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you've not already, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you're aware of when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, I hope to see you all again for the next episode of Jurassic World Evolution.